How's it going guys? My name is Dave Pulley. I'm a full-time eBay reseller and this one mistake was causing all of these items not to sell on my eBay store. It's a lot of them. Let's get into it. All right guys, so if you guys follow me already on YouTube or if you guys are new, consider subscribing or drop a like. Comment down below. Three eagle emojis if you guys are new or if you already have been here before. But I wanted to share this mistake that cost me a lot of money, um, a lot of time wasted, and now we're retracting our steps to fix this. Um, and the one mistake was that these items were not listed correctly. Um, there was, I used to have a virtual assistant, if you guys have been following me for a bit, and um, basically the way they were listing the items, they weren't getting listed properly. Um, they were getting listed through a third party website, not through eBay, and they weren't being sold. Uh, they, weren't, they weren't being listed uh, through the sell similar option um, that listings have. Um, the item specifics were incorrect. Um, and then shipping was also incorrect. All of these, um, all those issues that I had just told you right now, um, were all present and the shipping was off. Uh, the way they were doing the calculated shipping on these was just absurd. Some of these, the shipping was $160. It was just an, a, an insane amount of money that they were charging for shipping. Item specifics incorrect. Um, sometimes titles incorrect. Sometimes when a uh, headphone was blue they put red um it was just a lot of mistakes they're people from a, diff a different country um they weren't here physically looking at the items um and they were i was just sending everything over to them so um and i was paying about 70 80 cents an item for it to get listed I had to take pictures send it over there and that caused a lot of items not to sell um and i learned the hard way and hopefully you guys can uh avoid that mistake and basically what I have been doing now is um, myself and my in-house worker have been listing them. I train them to list them how I would list them. Um, I check his stuff uh, constantly and he's been doing a great job. Um, and yeah, I pay him pretty much like a dollar to uh, list the items now. But he also takes the pictures and I don't have to pay someone else to take pictures as well. So um, it's pretty good um, and it works out great now. Uh, but that mistake of hiring the virtual assistant, you know, cost me a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of headache, but, uh, I have pulled all these items out. I have deleted, uh, I used to have this whole back row full. This isn't my stuff. This is, uh, actually my dad's, my dad's going to be taking over this warehouse. Um, watch my two videos ago on moving out of this warehouse. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, but basically this used to be full. I deleted everything. Um, this is stuff that I'm gonna relist. This is stuff I'm gonna relist and I'm gonna release, relist these uh, and this. Um, and also I have two rows of bigger stuff that I'm going to be relisting. Not everything that you see here I'm gonna be relisting. I'm being a little more picky um, this time around because where I'm moving to next, I'm gonna have less space and I'm gonna be a little more picky with what I list. It's gonna be higher quality product that I'm gonna be listing um, from here on out, especially with the big stuff, the small stuff, you know, I'm still very lenient. If it's 10 bucks, if I can get 10 bucks for it, I'll, I'll put it up, you know, if it's small. But bigger stuff, if it's not like 150, uh, it's it's a hassle to have in your store and taking up space. So um, what's gonna be happening is, as we're listing, if it's not a certain amount, a dollar amount for the size, it's not gonna get listed. And I'm gonna be making pallets and selling them off to other people that sell like at the flea market, not necessarily eBay. And then they can make some money um, and it's gonna clear a lot of space and we'll be able to list it correctly and make more money. So I'm moving out of here in about three and a half weeks. So that's gonna what's gonna be the focus uh, before we move out, fixing this issue, um, getting all this product listed correctly, making our money back um, and then some, you know, uh, but yeah, it, you know, I you never fail. You only learn. Uh, that's the way I see it. Um, yeah, I messed up. Uh, I don't want you guys to do the same. So I'm just going to tell you, you know, uh, I, I don't get upset when stuff like this happens. I just get excited that I learned something new and I'm hopefully I don't make the same mistake. I never make the same mistake twice. I, I only make new ones. So um, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah, guys, that one mistake not listing the items correctly, not having specific keywords, not having um, the item specifics correctly, not having correct titles, 
uh, all that was the issue and caused hundreds and thousands of items to not sell. So, um, and also we found like 4,000 items that were not listed um, and we used to have 16,000 listed. Uh, right now we're about 2,400, starting fresh uh, because I am gonna move as well. So it, it's kind of like a clean up refresher of my store. But yeah guys, uh, hopefully you guys learned something in this video. If you guys did, uh, drop a thumbs up, comment down below, consider subscribing. Three eagle emojis right now, before you forget, all right? Instagram is down below, website is down below if you guys are interested in wholesale lots. We'll catch you guys later.